we've been a company that's been in existence over 100 years. And what we want to be is a company that's going to be in existence the next 100 years, the next 200 years. And we actually grounded that strategy in terms of climate change and doing our share to reduce the impacts of climate change for the vehicles that we produce. One of the uh, most popular technologies that has been talked about a great deal over the last couple of years is the advance of electric propulsion. And Ford Motor Company is very happy that we have five vehicles that we build within Ford Motor Company plus one upfitter who provides a hybrid powertrain. Depending on the scenario and depending on what you need out of the vehicle determines which electric technology makes the most sense for you. If you have a salesperson who's on a similar route or you have a courier where you know that they won't ever drive more than 76 miles, then an electric car makes a lot of sense. If you have someone who spends most of their time in a city environment but occasionally has to travel to, say, a sales meeting in a different city, then a plug-in hybrid makes a lot more sense. One of the challenges when we try and move to larger vehicles is that the size and scale and the weight of the battery in a Focus Electric to go 76 miles is about 235 kilos and 215 liters of space. If you're trying to figure out how much that is, we had a college student figure it out for us. It's about the same as four kegs of beer. So when we try and scale that technology up to larger vehicles, you end up carrying around a battery that literally weighs a ton. And that's not something that improves the economy of the vehicle. Where I'm most proud with Ford is that we're not picking the type of alternative fuel to offer to the customer, but we have vehicles that run on all the different types of alternative fuel. Yeah.